Hey everybody, how's it going? Check this out. I'm down at the beach at the high tide line, which is known as the rack line, and it appears there are a bunch of dead horseshoe crabs. But after a closer examination, you will realize that these are not dead. These are simply molts. So a horseshoe crab, in order to grow, needs to shed this exoskeleton. And the way it does it is right here at the front, the shell will split. You can see where I could pull the top from the bottom. And the horseshoe crab walks out, leaving everything behind. The legs, the gills, the eyes, everything is left behind. Once it's out, its body is soft, so it'll swell up with water and get about 20% bigger. The shell will then harden again, and it goes about its business. These shells are light and wash up at high tide. And if you're into collecting seashells, these are a good one to collect because they don't smell. There's no meat in there. It's simply a shell. Now, horseshoe crabs are closely related to spiders, ticks, and other arachnids. And one thing you might not want to know is spiders also molt their exoskeleton. So the next time you find a spider in your house that you think is dead, it might simply be a molt, which means the spider is alive and bigger still in your house. Pretty cool.